What's good everyone, it's CJ. We're back at it again today. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can glide 808s in Logic. Before that, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell. This way you're notified anytime I drop some new content. The way I'm gonna show you how to glide 808s, I'm applying it to a drill beat today, but you can apply this technique to any type of beat. So feel free to use it in any genre. All right, let's head over to Logic and get started. Okay, so I just opened up a project that I'm currently working on. This is the start of a drill beat and uh, we're gonna incorporate that 808, add those glides. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. Let's have a listen to the first eight bars of the beat and then we'll get to adding the 808. Okay, cool. So first things first, let's go ahead and add a new software instrument. And the instrument type that we're gonna be adding is a multi-sampler. So you come over to sampler, multi-sample, and I like putting my 808s in mono. Uh, you know, they just tend to punch more and be more direct uh, if, they are, if they're mixed in mono. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Now, at first glance, the multi-sampler could look a little overwhelming, uh, but it's really not. You can, you know, turn certain parameters off that you don't need, like for instance, the mod matrix. And, um, I tend to leave on my modulators and turn on mapping. And this is basically where we're going to drag the 808 sample in. And then we'll set up the multi sampler so that the glides come in nicely. Once you've picked the 808 that you want to use, you simply drag and drop it in here. So depending on where you drop it in, this basically, you know, if you drop it in higher, uh, you see that it actually fills out the entire uh, E range. And if you come down lower, it'll, you know, like add it just to one key. So we want to add it to the entire key range here. And I'm going to drop it on C2. Now you can play the 808 in different pitches on the keyboard. The next thing I do is set up my envelope so that the 808 plays as long as I hold down the key. And when I release it, it stops playing. The next thing I want to do under synth, come up to details and set my mode to legato. Now I'm going to change the pitch bend up to... 12 and set my glide up to let's say 55 milliseconds 55 milliseconds should just be a starting point depending on the 808 that you use you know the glides might sound better if you have a longer glide like 100 milliseconds and some might sound shorter so i usually use 50 or 55 as a starting point and then go back in and uh, change the glide milliseconds depending on the sound of the 808 and how long i want that glide to uh, to come in Next thing I want to do is make sure that the 808 is in key. So when I actually play a C on the keyboard that it's actually playing a C. This way I know for a fact that the 808 is tuned and I don't have to worry about it sounding off if I'm not playing the right key. So under that sampler track, I'm going to go over to metering and hit the tuner. Now play a C on my keyboard. So you can see that it's playing a C. It's pitched up a little bit. So let's go into the sampler and we'll mess with the pitch. So since it's going in this direction, I have to reduce it and uh, go in the minus. So I'm gonna, I'll start off by going by negative point one. Almost there, let's try negative point 11. Let me pause right here. If you haven't already, make sure to sign up for my Patreon for only three bucks a month. Anytime I drop a tutorial, you get to download all of my project files. And if you're not using Logic, it doesn't matter because I include the stems, the MIDI, and the one shots. So you could use these sounds in any DAW. Let's get back to this beat. Now that's tuned. You see the C coming in as I'm playing the C. It's turning green. We have a little pitch variation at the end, uh, at the tail end, but that's nothing to be concerned about. Now we could start adding some root notes of the 808. I like playing my 808s at a higher key on my keyboard so that I can really hear and listen and make sure that I'm hitting the right root notes. So let's go ahead and record some root notes of the 808 first. Once you got that, you can come in there and just quantize it real quick. Also, hit Command A and bring it down an entire octave. So the way I approach glides is uh, is pretty simple. I have my root notes here, 
And in order to glide uh, up to a different pitch, all I need to do is stack some uh, shorter notes on top of it. Make sure it's in the same scale as that sample. And depending on how long the notes are, that'll determine the length of the glide. Like this one maybe could start a little earlier so we can put some glides in the back here. You could also stack the glide notes uh, below the root note, which brings a gives it a dope effect when the, when it comes to the glide. And if you're looking for like some really crazy glides, I would definitely recommend trying them up at a higher pitch. As the beat progresses, it's always a good idea to change up your 808 patterns, change up your glide patterns, so you give uh, you give the listener a, a little bit of variation. So maybe this one, I'm just reusing what I did before. We can bring down like that. Maybe let's add one here. Maybe these can come up an octave. Maybe we'll add one over here, one glide. I feel like the glide length is already pretty good, but it doesn't hurt to always, you know, check out what it would do if we change the glide length, what I was talking about earlier. So right now our glide is set to 55 milliseconds. If we were to just loop off a section here, like so, play it back, play back that loop, and then, uh, you know, mess with the glide and see what happens if we go up or down in milliseconds. I like that effect at 142 when it goes up in pitch. Maybe a little less. You can see that the glide milliseconds has an effect on how long the glide goes and uh, it can definitely give you a different vibe each time. So be sure to mess around with the glide and find the right balance um, of how long you want those glides to be. 
Hey, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this tutorial today. As I mentioned before, sign up for my Patreon, get all my project files that way. Make sure to hit that subscription button and that bell. This way you're notified anytime I drop something new. If you learned something, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to add something to this conversation, make sure to use the comment section below. I'm out for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.